When my mother dies after I have verified her death, because I don't trust anybody on that side of my family, because of the fact that in my grandmother's obituary, they wrote about what a loving great grandmother she was to my children, one of which she had never met before and another one that she hadn't seen since he was a toddler. You know, if their lips are moving or their pen is working or whatever it is, they are lying. So after I verify whether or not my mother is truly dead and gone, she's dead to me now. Like I had to grieve the living a long time ago. I will feel nothing but a sense of relief. I'm pretty sure about that. And part of the reason I'm sure about that is because when my grandfather died, that's exactly what happened. Regarding the whole pain thing, you know, you've been with me for quite some time and you engage with a lot of my videos. And sometimes you make a comment that is really without thought. Um, and it's almost like you're trying to say there's some pain that's going on due to the fact that my mother is walking the earth and you know, that, that I'm living in that pain or something. So I wanna clarify, I'm not living in pain. The fact that I'm able to share my story is continually healing for me. Most of the things that I talk about emotionally don't have that big of an impact or any at all on me anymore because I have put them so far behind in my rear view mirror. That being said, I do have some live wounds. I will never know what it's like to have a mom. My mother being dead or alive doesn't impact that. I will never know what it's like to have a childhood, to feel safe, to feel loved, to have that kind of a foundation. My mother being dead or alive doesn't impact that. I will never know what it was like to choose my path, to be what I wanted to be when I grew up, to have my dreams fulfilled, to have the opportunity to pursue those dreams because my mother forever altered my path. I have to live with that. And it doesn't haunt me on a daily basis or mostly at all. Every now and again, that wound is scratched open and sometimes in the most unexpected places. Like for example, when I'm enjoying a moment with my own children, I feel a little bit of a, a grab because I love what I have with them and I wonder at the same time what it would have been like to have that too. And then it goes away and I continue to live my life and I love my job. I love everything that I do now. I have a really beautiful life. Now let's get to the inheritance part of it. Hmm. Well, I want nothing. I, my mother's probably gonna leave debt behind. That, that's more likely than anything else. But let's say she had a whole ton of money. I wouldn't want one penny of it. Any money my mother has ever made is tainted in some way. She pulled off a lot of scams. Uh, her last arrest was around 2014 for doing so. She has taken money from people left, right, and center. The men that she's married, she has um, drained financially. I, I would not want any money that's connected to somebody's pain. Do I deserve to take the money? Yeah, to pay for all the therapy that I had to pay for because she decided to give me a trauma hood instead of a childhood. But deserving it and wanting it are not the same thing. And I don't wanna live attached to that group of relatives in a way that um, I'm fighting for something that I don't even want. The thing that I was fighting for throughout my young adulthood was acknowledgement and validation and somebody to tell the truth, somebody to stand with me. I fought that fought and I lost it. And if there was anything I was ever going to want, it would be for them to stand up while my mother is alive in particular and say, you know what, this is wrong. This is wrong that Marnie is the one who has been turned away and that we hold you the abuser within the family. That would be a nice thing, but I, I don't live in that place because I know it's not possible. It's not who they are. They rather protect the lies than tell the truth. There is one thing or a, a few items, items, not money that I would like to have. And she'll, she'll probably burn them if she knows she's dying. Photographs, I would like to have my childhood photographs if any exist anywhere within the family system. I would like to have them not just for my own healing journey to be able to look back on the little girl that was me, um, but I'd also like to have them for my kids and my grandkids 
You know, that's, that's my history, not theirs. And the other thing I would like to have is the baby bracelet that my mother stole from my daughter when she was a young adult that my daughter has asked her for several times. My daughter's now no contact with her and has been for a long time. My daughter has asked for that. She's even asked my brother, her uncle, to try to get that for her and my mother refuses. So those are the things I want. I want my daughter's baby bracelet so that she can have it back and photographs of myself. I know it's not gonna happen. That's okay. It is what it is.